hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is michelle if it's your first time you are more than welcome today we are making this beautiful blazer or coat if you are interested in knowing how i made it please stay tuned in the previous video i showed how i drafted this so now i cut my fabric with my protein so what i'm having now it's um the front panel i cut it into four pieces because i have to iron the violin in the other two pieces and this is my side front for the back patterns this is what i have and this is my sleeve so what i'm gonna do now i'll remove the pattern paper and then i will show you guys how to put the pieces together okay this is the front pattern the center front i've went on behind camera to iron my violin I'm gonna use this to attach it on my lining. So now I will take both my front pattern papers or fabrics and then just show you how to put it together. Taking the side front and the center front. I'm putting it on top of the side so the fabric does not have the wrong side nor the right side the whole thing it's the same so I'm pinning it down I'll take it to my sewing machine and start on sewing I've taken it to my sewing machine as you can see um, as you can see that I've sewn it down and what you need to do also is to notch the KV areas so that it does not give you the KV side after you have sewed it um, if it's your first time in my channel thank you for joining us thank you and if you are a returning subscriber thank you also for your support don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like the video, and to comment down below. Now I'm working on the back panel. I'm placing the center, the center front on the back, center back pattern, and then I'm pinning down everything. I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew it down the whole thing. You see, I've done it already. So the back piece is fully attached. Now I will take the front piece and lay it on top of the back and then put the shoulders to shoulder together and take it to my sewing machine. This is how it came out after I sew it down. So what I'll do now, I'll go on, go on and attach my sleeve. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. Find the center of your sleeve and notch it. You place the notched part on the seam line of your sleeve, on the armhole. And then you pin it down, you take it to the machine, you sew it.
and you do the same thing for both sides this is how i've done it i have sewed down everything so what i'm going to do now i'm going to close the sides from the sleeve until the the side of the coat don't forget to subscribe to my channel to comment down below and to like this video i went on and did the same thing on my lining this is how it looks like so now i will have to work on my collar so what i will do i will first i'll pin down my center front and remember on the pattern paper i added on the front side i added two inches and now i'm marking two and a half inches on the side and i pin it down so this is where i will start on marking how much i want my collar to be long and then i found that it's six inches which makes it 12. so i'm having my pattern paper i will go on and draw a standard line there that will guide me and then the 6.3 or 6.5 inches that i found i'm gonna put it down on my on my paper draw a line across and then from that standard line i will come down by four inches and draw another line across and now it looks like a rectangle so what i will do now i came in by two inches and went up also by three inches and then i draw a line from the standard line i added one inch up and i connected my line This is how my collar looks like and on the other side i marked on fold because i'll have to cut the fabric as an on fold piece i went on off camera to cut the pieces that i need this is my collar I went on and cut off my violin and ironed it down. So now I'll take the collar to the sewing machine and start sewing. As I'm pinning it down, that is where I'll be sewing it. I'll leave the other side open because when I attach it on the coats, it will come, it will just close. So this is how it looks like now. I'm just checking the length of my collar if I'm happy with it so now I'm taking my piece I marked the center of the back of my the main fabric the coat and I marked the center of my collar so now I'm gonna pin it down round and take it to my sewing machine Please make sure you use your pins to attach it so that it will be equal for both sides once 
you have sold it. If it's your first time in this channel, thank you for passing by. I hope you like the video. I hope you are enjoying this sewing tutorial. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it down. I've done that. This is how we look like. So now I'm going to place my lining right sides facing each other. I marked the center of my lining and then I'm pinning it down. I'm making sure that the shoulder part is equivalent or it's facing each other the way that it corresponds. I'm pinning it down until the end. Do the same thing for the other side. And then I'll take it to my sewing machine. This is how it looks like now. So I've pinned down everything and everything looks so clean and neat. So what I will do now, in the center front, I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna pin it down and then take it to my sewing machine to close it off. It is done. Now I'm ironing the whole thing together. This is how it looks like. I'm pressing it down with my iron. This is how it looks like. So now, we're almost done with the coat. What we need to do now is to close off the sleeves and also the bottom part. But before that, remember I bought um, these shoulder pads. So I'm gonna attach it on the main fabric, not on the lining, on the main fabric. So how, this is how I am doing it. I hope you can see. But I think on my next video, I will have to make a separate sewing tutorial on of how I attach 
those shoulder pads. This is how it looks like after I've attached it. I do the same thing for the other side. I'm working on the seam line of my shoulders. And then I find the center of the shoulder pad. I place it down. The curvy side needs to be on the upper shoulder, on the upper part. And then I took it down to the sewing machine. This is how it looks like after. So now we're going to work on the sleeves. On the lining parts, I'm going to cut off some pieces there. That will help me when I'm, I've closed the seam, you won't have to, you won't have to see the lining on the outside. And with this coat, I did not want to have the longest sleeves. So I like like a three quarter sleeves because most of the time I fold it over. So what I did, I cut off like two inches, but with yours, you can just cut one inch. That will be fine. That will be fine. And then you can just sew it together. So this is how I'm doing. I'm finding on the right side of my lining and my fabric, I find the, side, the seam and I put it together, then I pin it down round for me to be able to close it. I hope you can see. I don't know what happened to my camera, but it's not clear enough. It's like other parts are cut off. But I hope you can see. I'll do the same thing for the other part of my sleeve. Take it to the sewing machine and sew it down. This is how it should look like after you have sewed it down. Pull everything out and then this is what it should look like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you to my returning subscribers. If it's your first time joining us, you are welcome. So now we are working on the bottom of our coat.
what I did for me to be able to cut like an inch on it I had to pin down everything together first so that I'll cut nicely make sure you pin it with more pins than what I did because wow So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it down. Don't forget to subscribe to hit the notification bell to like the video to comment down below i really appreciate your support now we'll pin it down and take it to the sewing machine and sew everything together Make sure that your seam aligns, the seams of the lining aligns well with the seam of the main fabric. Because my fabric is that kind of soft, I will use my violin i don't know what you will be using as a violin but i will cut off a long piece of this violin and then i'll iron it at the bottom of my coats why so so that after i have sewed it down it will give me that sharp look after I've ironed it. Good finishing. It's gonna look beautiful. Neat. Iron your violin on the main fabric, not on the lining part, on the main fabric. Iron it before you take it to the sewing machine.
now take it to the sewing machine and sew it down. This is how it looks like after I've sewed down everything, you see? On the lining parts, I will open my seam there so that I'll be able to turn it on the right side because everything else is locked in the inside and I need what is inside so I need to open a small anyana hole there use your unpick when opening it I hope you are enjoying this tutorial it was not a hard one it was easy making this thing and I really enjoyed every part of it and I'm sorry to take long before I started posting it you know when things are not okay rather take a break because putting pressure on yourself may lead you into depression so i needed a time off i'm really sorry though but i promise that i'll be posting more constantly since i'm feeling better Press down everything, press down everything so that it will look neat and nice. We've came to the end of our tutorial. This is how the coat looks like after. It looks nice, I love it. This is how it looks like. Thank you if you have watched until this far. Thank you for love. Thank you for support. Thank you for everything.